The first travel ban brought me to the airport that night. Just right as I was about to leave the house, I decided to change shirts. I heard that real people were being detained at SeaTac, uh, real refugees who were just about to set foot on American soil. The organizers were really amazing queer women of color and I was following their lead the entire time. We weren't going to leave until the refugees were let free. Then I got pepper spray in my face and then an officer grabbed me and yanked me by my pink Planned Parenthood shirt. But that's nothing compared to people that get to America and then are like detained and they have no idea what's going on. So I know no matter what I'll be doing, it'll be working for the freedom of others. Planned Parenthood was a place that I went to hoping I would get some testing and education, and I got so much more than I ever thought. I was a little intimidated walking into Planned Parenthood. My only kind of recollection of Planned Parenthood was that it was for uh, women. It felt like I was walking into a place for gay men. There was like a picture of two men canoodling. I felt so supported and just unconditionally welcomed there. I went into a monogamous marriage, felt like I could walk into that as a healthy person. And we both go to Planned Parenthood and yeah, I feel like we, we have a safer sex life because of that. My insurance money is going to support Planned Parenthood. So it can actually be an act of social justice to go to Planned Parenthood as a patient feels like a baseline right that we should be able to take care of our bodies.